All right, Mr. Woodsman, knife crime. Oh, well, I said that. Uh, we're gonna read loads of in loads, loads of shit into that uh, little clip there and make a big story around it. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Right, I just have to have my dinner just now. Right, what well, you're saying? Treating everyone with kid gloves. Well, I'm not your nanny, am I? YouTube isn't your mum. No one forces you to come on. <clears throat> and if you're saying, ooh, has somebody not died from being triggered on YouTube? Probably. People die from all kinds of stuff. People die from getting hit by lightning. People die from being overworked, stressed. People die from smoking. People die from probably just about everything you could possibly imagine. So if somebody dies from getting triggered on YouTube, do I give a fuck? No, not in the slightest. Unless, like, you know, someone close to me, obviously, because there'd be, like, a connection between. I'm not going to see that person which is close to me ever again. Like a relative, but not many people, really. So, uh, I couldn't really give a fuck, to be honest. That's your answer. If, uh, it's a short answer to your long question. And, um, you know, about not treating everyone with kid gloves. I don't know why you seem to, like, want to be nannied. Like, a lot of people have tried feeling sorry for you in the past and tried to give you the benefit of the doubt, but you just spit back in their faces. And it gets to the point where it's just like, I can't be fucked when this man don't want to be helped. He's asking to be helped. You're asking, but you don't want it. And when people give you help, you push them back. And it gets to the point where just, people just can't bother to try anymore. So, I mean, you do your little videos and um, you make good assumptions. And you cast your little uh, theories and your um, conspiracy theories. Um, the, as regarding a, regarding a fight, I, I, I've been looking at you, you know, you've got a lot of energy. I've been studying BJJ, but I've not been participating in it. More for the kids, but... but um, um, where was I again? So I lost my trail. Um... I reckon you'd be quite good at that. I reckon you've got a lot of energy for that BJJ. You should look into it. And I'll keep you occupied, but I will never be fighting you with uh, BJJ rules because I wouldn't know what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, I, I, think, I think the fairest thing is just hands-only boxing. You know, uh, the old-fashioned English way. You know, I do Muay Thai, but... I mean, if you want to give me a slight kick or an elbow, it's not a problem. I think it's safer for both of you, for, for, mainly for you, wearing some big, thick gloves. And I think your best chance is if you get gas, is me getting gassed out. Um, but unless you hit like a fucking steam train, maybe I don't know. Maybe you've got special powers I don't know about. But, um, you can't say, like, I don't know, you just expect people to be able to read your mind, like, you know, you've been calling me for ages, like, calling me out, or saying I meet up, and when I finally am in your neck of the woods, because you're ill at the time, somehow that's on me, it's like, I didn't know you were ill, I don't know how you're feeling, I'm not you, I mean, you, you're you, I'll just put it out there, like a bit of fishing bait, it's like, do you want to come out and meet me for a fight, for a coffee? Yes or no? No? Well, not fun. There's no pressure. You're acting like, like, um, I was trying to call you out of your weakest. I was just like, look, look can I have a little spa for fun if you want. If you're up for it, up, for, if you're up to it. If you're not, it's no big deal. But don't fucking pull me out afterwards and say, you called me out when I was at my lowest, blah, blah. I was like, no, I didn't call you out. I was very friendly. I even, like, you know, was making a bit of a, like, entertainment out of it, saying I'm looking for Johnny, when I wasn't really... I couldn't be bothered, man. I had time to meet... Me. If I had time to meet you, it would have been for any short space of time, because I'm busy doing stuff, you know? I wasn't... I didn't go just to Chiang Mai, just, just to meet up with Johnny Woodsman. I was 
do loads of stuff, so I would have had to take time out of my busy schedule to meet you. I would have put my briefcase down and everything, take my suit and tie off. No, I don't know that bit. But, um, you said you went on a holiday in the south. Why you not uh, let me know first? Why not? You didn't get my permission. I'm not happy about that one. Next time you um, you do that, I want, I want you to ask for my permission before you travel around. Make sure it's okay. Make sure it's all safe. Get it all clear. Okay, Johnny. Cheers.